Vanessa Art at Heart. So today we're doing another Disney themed craft. Um, and in honor of this Disney themed craft, I am sporting a cute yellow dress in honor of Belle. Unfortunately, I do not personally own a Belle costume. Otherwise, I would be doing cosplay. I do play a party princess. I'll insert a little photo here of Belle but I do not own that costume. <laughs> but anyway, on to today's craft. We will be making Chip. And of course, Mrs. Potts to go along with him. Let's go ahead and get started. Okie dokie, to start off this craft, you are going to need to find a super cute teacup. So I actually found this at a thrift store and you're also gonna need a white ceramic pot for Mrs. Potts. Um, I found these both at thrift stores. The set of teacups actually came with four. Um, the pot came by itself. Um, I think the pot was like $5. The teacups were four for all four phones, so a dollar each. Um, you could also probably swap out the teacup with like a mug from the dollar store, but you know, it kind of depends on what effect you're going for. Next, I took some ceramic pens and started coloring the handle of the teacup, which is going to be Chip's nose. And you're going to want to do that yellow or a gold color. You can just use ceramic paint for this. I just happen to have the pen that's yellow and I didn't have actual ceramic paint that was yellow, so I just used what I had. Um, side note, you cannot use normal acrylic paint on ceramics. It will not stay on. I guarantee that. Um, with these particular ceramic paints and pens, you have to either bake it or let it sit for however long. I think it might be like, four days or something like that. It might be longer. I'm not sure. Don't take my word for that. Read what it says on the packages of how long you should cook it for, how long it takes to set, etc. And you want to make sure you cover the entire handle. You don't want any missing spots. I also kind of colored on the edge um, off onto the teacup with some yellow as well. You may want to wait in between the different elements you're painting because you don't want to accidentally get paint on your hands and then spread it onto the rest of your ceramic piece. Next, we're going to do Chip's eyes. So we're going to take some black and I can't remember if I started with the eyebrows or the actual eyes. I apologize for kind of the weird filming. This was really kind of difficult because I couldn't do the straight up shot like I normally do. Um, anyway, I did start with the eyes, so you're gonna kind of make this like oval cartoony um, shape for the eyes. Um, you'll get to see a little bit more specifics here in a minute. You wanna make sure it's a very precise and clean lines. If you can just do it all in one stroke, that is ideal. Now that's kind of hard to do. I struggled with it. And feel free to keep like a baby wipe with you on the side and wipe off in between um, the different takes of those eyebrows and eyes. Chip's eyebrows are in a very sharp triangular shape, kind of think of a, almost a top of a wide triangle. Um, and then you want those to probably be as close to the top of the teacup. This teacup was a little bit smaller than I would have liked. Um, but I also liked it because it had that gold edge at the top. Um, here I'm kind of just touching up those lines. I, like I said, I was not able to do it in one nice clean stroke. So I'm kind of just going in with baby wipe and even the edge of my paintbrush to kind of clean up those edges. And that's kind of what I've got so far. Next, I believe I worked on the pupils or the lips. I don't know. Right now, still more touching up. I was not super satisfied with how the eyebrows and eyes looked overall until like the very end. Once again, I apologize for my poor filming. 
you can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, so there we go. You essentially just take black, and I think I might even add a dark blue in later, and you want to make some nice round circles, um, making Chip's eyes look like he's looking to the top of the ceiling. And you want a nice thick coat, and then you're going to leave some white space to kind of give it like that reflection cute little vibe. Okay, next comes Chip's little smile. Um, this is kind of like a little side grin. Um, and this is also another thing that you're gonna probably have to try a whole bunch of times to get it perfect, depending on how like much of a perfectionist you are. Um, once again, I really wanted a nice clean line. Um, I made his mouth slightly open. Um, so you do that by just kind of drawing like a little mouth shape and then coloring it in. I wonder how many times this took me to do. I don't know. This is what, like my third try? I don't know, comment in the comment section. Tell me how many times I attempted his mouth. Oh, this one might be the peeper. Hopefully, fingers crossed, right guys? I probably should just edit out all of the mistakes, but you know, I'm lazy, guys. And now I'm leaving a little spot for his little tongue, which I will put pink in. Actually, I don't know if I already put the pink in. But anyways, you essentially make a little oval shape um, of a pink color, which once again, this all has to be ceramic paint. Next, we're gonna add in the little bottom decorations. Once again, this was a very kind of small teacup. Um, in the animation, Chip actually had like a bottom poof out. I don't know what it's called. I don't know the technical term, um, but like essentially a little stand at the bottom of the teacup, which is where all this ornate design stuff happened, which I think the colors were pink, purple, and yellow. Um, which I happen to have some of those colors. I think I switched out blue instead of purple. Um, but I kind of just did it at the bottom edge of the teacup and it was not as ornate just because I didn't have enough space to really do the actual design. So it kind of just ended up being like little triangle spots. Make sure you go all the way around the teacup with those bottom designs. You don't want to leave any gaps. Okie dokie artichokies. Next, we are going to move on to Mrs. Potts. So essentially, you're gonna be doing the exact same thing that you did with Chip, coloring that handle a nice gold or yellow color. Um, I took the lid off the pot just to make it easier to move around and paint on. You want to make sure that you don't have any gaps or white spots on your handle. Make sure to fully cover that, even on the inner part of the handle. So this lovely teapot did not come with a nice gold rim like the chip cup, so I decided to add my own little yellow rim at the bottom of the pot with my paint pen. Nice and easy, just go around the bottom. You can make it as thin or as thick as you want. I decided to go with a little thinner just because 
Like I said, I always seem to run out of space when it comes to the ornate design just because it did not come with a little bump out just like in the teacup. So next we're going to work on the top of the teapot. We are going to add some of the little ornate designs. First I took my yellow ceramic pen and I am going around the rim of the knob of the top of the teacup. And I pulled up an image of Mrs. Potts and Chip while I was kind of illustrating the teacups. Um, I would highly recommend to do that, especially if you're wanting it to be the most accurate. Um, next, I'm adding kind of the little, I guess, flare of yellow at the bottom. This was actually like, I think, the shape of the lid of the teacup, but I don't have that shape of a lid, so I'm just kind of improvising and just doing a little swiggle. Make sure you go around the entirety of the lid with that swiggle design. So next you're going to take your lid and paint in between the yellow lines that you just painted with a nice purpley color. And once you're done with that purple, you are going to take your nice blue ceramic paint and paint on those outside edges that have the white showing. Now you wanna be careful not to cover up all your yellow lines. You wanna keep those nice and even. Feel free to go back and touch up if you need to. That's the beauty of paint is you can paint over stuff. This is not as easy as acrylic is to paint over, but it's still worth a shot. I was kind of iffy about my purple color, so I went ahead and kind of mixed my own, adding a little bit more blue. And then as soon as I finished that, I went on to painting the top knob, which is a light pink ceramic color.
So I went ahead and put the lid back on Mrs. Potts just so I could get a better idea of what it was going to look like as a whole. And I pulled up a sample image that I wanted to kind of mimic um, for Mrs. Potts' face. A reference photo, if you will. For this next step, I'm going to be focusing on her lips or her mouth. Um, and I went ahead and grabbed a pink ceramic pen to do that. It's kind of a similar shape to Chip's. Um, she kind of has a nice open smile, but unlike Chip's, hers is pink. Mrs. Potts has some pretty round cheeks, so I am going to go ahead and add that in. And that's kind of just like a wide C almost. The letter C, just to be clear. She also has a little chin, which is also a similar shape, almost an even wider C, like so. Next, we're going to do the eyebrows. So unlike Chip's eyebrows, Mrs. Potts' eyebrows are nice and round. They are very similar shape to her chin and her cheek lines. Potts' eye is a lot more round than Chip's. Hers is almost a half circle versus Chip's, which was an oval. Um, so you're gonna draw the half circle and then you're gonna take your brush and you are going to create a line underneath that half circle to kind of be the bottom portion of the eye. Once again, if you can get this in a single stroke, it's gonna look a lot nicer. Next, we're gonna fill in the pupils. She is gonna be kind of looking almost to her nose. Um, once again, you're gonna wanna leave a little reflection. I'm just going in with black right now. Next I am adding in her eyelid, which I decided was going to be a nice shade of pink. In certain illustrations I found Mrs. Potts had like a darker blue color. And so I decided to take some of the blue ceramic paint and incorporate it into that black. just to give it an extra element. Next, we're gonna put a little makeup on Mrs. Potts, so we're gonna give her a little eyeliner and a little mascara.
I decided I wanted to make her pupil a little bit smaller, so I went in with some white ceramic paint and just painted over top of it. It also kind of gives her eye a more glassy look, um, so it's more authentic, even though it's a live teapot that's not anywhere to being authentic, but makes it look more realistic, I suppose. <laughs> And then for that extra element of cuteness, I gave her a little reflective dot. That eye is just about finished. I'm just making a few little touch-ups. And then you do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Lastly, a little extra element that I added was rosy cheeks for her. So I went in with the ceramic paint and essentially I took, uh, I think I was using tissue paper, but honestly, like take a little bit of that ceramic paint, paint it on with a bigger brush, and then I would even go in with your thumb and just kind of rub it around. You don't want it to be like just a circle of pink. You want it to look like rouge. And here is what the finished product looks like. Yay! And then you do the exact same thing with the bottom of Mrs. Potts as you did with Chip. I forgot to record that portion, so you can always just follow the Chip tutorial on that part if need be. Another element you can add to Chip is the little crack, which I also forgot to include in the tutorial. But once again, super easy, kind of just a Harry Potter lightning strike, essentially, on the side of Chip. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. This is Brianna, signing off.